Hello, my name is Vivian Parry. I'm a science writer and broadcaster. Now, when the pandemic struck, many businesses faced their most perilous hour. Innovate UK came to the rescue with a COVID-19 package, which was turned around in extraordinary time. Very, very quick. Congratulations to everyone at Innovate UK. And over 8,000 companies applied for that support package. 800 were successful. And I'm delighted to welcome three of those companies here today. So tell me what you each do. And let's start with you, Aaron. Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm head of sales at Astrosat. Astrosat is an earth observation company based in Scotland. Hi, my name is Joe Fox and I'm from a company called Management Networking and we uh, do educational events and workshops and shows in schools. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Chen Mao Davis. I'm the founder and CEO of Large Aid and Large Aid is a fintech startup to support new moms through their breastfeeding and early parenthood journeys. So when COVID-19 struck, what was it like for you? Uh, Aaron, what were you facing? I think the first thing that happened to us was we were really worried because a lot of the funding that we were very heavily reliant on was delayed. Joe, what about you? Education stopped. Yeah, well, yes, everything did stop uh, in both uh, the educational businesses that I work with and uh, there were no school visits. We had some big projects we were in the middle of, um, which involved working really closely with schools and we just couldn't complete them. And Chen, Never was there a time that women needed your services more than in the pandemic, but could you help them? We were really worried at the beginning of COVID time because as an early stage startup, we need to raise private investments and COVID-19 is not a good time to raise um, investment for us. And Chen, how did you hear about the Innovate UK Fast Start funding? Well, we signed up to Innovate UK's newsletter, so we got it from the email, but we heard from so many people that this is a funding we should apply and we should apply very fast. And Aaron, how easy was it? Pretty straightforward. Uh, we were advised by Scottish government we, uh, and Scottish enterprise in addition to like Chen, the newsletter. And so when we looked at it, the application process was very, very straightforward, really simple to follow. And tell me what you did, because it's remarkable. What we were able to do was use satellite data and relevant ground data to identify vulnerable communities. And these are communities who are one step away from needing help. So to give you an example, we would look at social isolation within communities. We would look at access to green spaces. And these are data that you can uh, obtain from satellites. Uh, and you can combine it with relevant ground data like whether people are living on their own or whether they receive support. So our innovation uh, helped uh, vulnerable communities be confident and reassured that there are people looking out for them and they are not going to be left un without any help during the pandemic. What about you, Joe? Well, we could see that there was a real need for keeping children motivated, inspired and engaged uh, with their remote learning. So we came up with an idea called Space Teams. And it's an educational, immersive website that takes primary age children and their parents, their teachers and their carers on a mission to Mars. It meant that um, parents could learn with their children uh, teachers, um, if all, all of a sudden they had to um, go um, into self-isolation because somebody in the class has you know, shown symptoms of, of COVID, then it gave them something they could set their children for uh, a 10 day, two week period um, to, that's engaging and fun and um, you know, really promotes learning. I must think a lot of homeschooling parents were enormously grateful to you. How about you, Jen? When new moms were released uh, from hospital, they literally had little or no support. So the COVID-19 funding really helped us to develop R&D in three different uh, game-changing areas. So firstly, we developed uh, some cutting-edge 3D interactive technology to help women learn breastfeeding skills uh, intuitively by learning from 3D avatars. Um, and we also developed this virtual breastfeeding support groups uh, feature. And this helped mothers to connect to other mothers um, to a close-knit 
peer-to-peer -peer support network, so they don't feel alone anymore. And the third feature we developed uh, is an AI-powered virtual supporter. Um, so we collaborate with top lactation consultants and artificial intelligence experts, and we build neural networks uh, encapsulating all the infant feeding questions moms might ask. I know you had support from Innovate Age. Tell me about that. Through Innovate UK Age, we have got a whole package of support, including financial advice, including uh, IP, uh, including all sorts of things, even public relations. We actually um, employed three additional people in our team um, and we have more than doubled our subcontracting team as well. How brilliant. And uh, Joe, did you manage to escape furlough with this uh, support? Oh yes, definitely. It meant that we could continue working um, all through the pandemic. And it's not just the funding that you get, which is brilliant. It's all the wraparound support that you get from uh, Innovate UK as well. Aaron, what were you able to do with the support for your business? What it allowed us to do, Vivian, is expedite the time to market on our product. And that was really critical for us as a business, particularly while operating without incurring any furlough, thankfully, during the pandemic. So that has really helped us to reach out into a new market that we would have otherwise not been able to do. I have to ask you all, what's next? Aaron, how about you? So the next step for us is to commercialize it and to reach into the market that we previously did not have access to and start speaking to users and undertaking very specific pilots and trials. Chen? So since we um, launched our beta study last month, uh, within a very short period of time, we have attracted active users, 600 of them from 14 different countries across six continents. And from our questionnaire study, our app has helped over 70% of moms to increase their confidence and skills in breastfeeding. So our plan is we will launch our app at Apple App Store in May, and we are already piloting our app with three different NHS trusts. So this year will help us to expand our B2B market as well, try to build partnerships with even more NHS trusts and corporates. Brilliant. And I imagine it's up, up and away for you, Joe. what with a the rocket there in your sitting room? Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, we're looking to create some more missions now. We're looking for a mission to orbit that will um, talk about the importance of being able to observe the Earth uh, from space. It's so fantastic talking to all of you because you've done so well from this support. I mean, not only for your business, but actually for the UK. So the whole point of the Innovate UK's fast support was to build back Britain better, greener and stronger. And I think all of you have proved that in spades. Thank you so much for talking to us today.